This video is in response to a question posed by McLaren Guy 22 and he was asking what about 1 minus cos 2x divided by sine x equals tan x and you'll find his comment on one of my previous videos and I'll put the link here on the left hand side. Now let's go ahead and actually have a look at his question. We have 1 minus cos 2x divided by sine 2x and we have to show that that is equal to tan x. Now what we're going to make use of here are the double angle formulas and also the fact that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So what we want to do is take this left hand side here. So we have 1 minus cos 2x and that's over sine 2x. Now what we can do here is we can take this cos 2x, use this double angle formula and rewrite it as cos squared x minus sine squared x. So I've still got the 1. I'm going to subtract cos 2x. Let's put that in brackets. So I've got cos squared x minus sine squared x. And that is all over sine 2x. Now sine 2x we can actually write as 2 sine x cos x. So let me go ahead and do that. So we've got 2 sine x cos x. Okay, well let's look at uh, cos squared x minus sine squared x. Let's expand this bracket here. So we'll have 1 minus cos squared x plus, we've got two negatives, makes a plus, and that'll be sine squared x and that's all over 2 sine x cos x. Now we know that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So this cos squared x here, well I can actually use this rule here, so cos squared x will be 1 minus sine squared x. So by rearranging this thing here, so cos squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So let me pop that over and replace this here. So we've got 1 minus, and in brackets, 1 minus sine squared x. And we've got the plus sine squared x from here. And that's all over 2 sine x cos x. Now 1 minus 1, well obviously that's 0, and we end up with a plus sine squared x when we expand this bracket here, and we've got another sine squared x, so what we've got here is 2 sine squared x. And that's all over 2 sine x cos x. Now we can cancel these 2's. We can cancel this sine x with one of these and we end up with sine x that's over cos x. And we know that sine x divided by cos x can be written as tan x.